Hello all, I am Dr. Seema Maitre, working as an assistant professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Today, I will teach you the subject Web Technology. The code is KCS 602 and it will cover the topic Website, Web Application and several Internet. Welcome class. Today, I am going to cover the following topics. Web Browser, Web Page and Website. Static and dynamic website, web applications, client server computing, web server versus application server, internet tools and services. So let's start with the topic, web browser. The web client called a browser is the software that allows to interact with information available on the internet. Example of the web browsers are Netscape Navigator, Microsoft Internet Explorer, Mosaic, Google Chrome, etc. The next one is web page. It is a mixture of text, graphics, sounds, and animation in the HTML format to make information accessible in an easy to understand format using the internet. Website. It is a collection of related web pages that may contain text, images, audios, and videos. The first page of a website is called home page. Now about the static and dynamic website. The static websites, those that are fixed, their contents are fixed and display the same contents for every user, usually written exclusively in HTML. So how to perform the static? This is the browser and the content we are requesting with the help of a browser from the server and server is providing the static website to the client and the client can view with the help of the browser. Dynamic website, the one that can display different content and provide user interaction also by making use of advanced programming and databases in addition to HTML. Now, in this case, the client, the server, and in between, we have the databases also. Now, the static and dynamic website, it continues. In static website, pre-built content is same every time the page is loaded, whereas in dynamic website, content is generated quickly and changes regularly. Static website uses HTML code for developing a website, whereas dynamic website uses server-side languages such as PHP, servlet, JSP, and ASP.NET, etc. for developing a website. In a static website, sends exactly the same response for every request. But in dynamic website, it may generate different HTML for each of the requests. In a static website, flexibility is the main advantage of static website. Whereas in dynamic website, content management system is the main advantage of dynamic website. Now about the web applications. It is a kind of application that can be run through the web browser over the internet. Web applications may include simple office software like word processors, Google Docs, project management, CAD, online spreadsheet, and presentation tools. Some common scripting language used to create web applications are as JSP, ASP, and PHP. Web applications interact with program variables, spreadsheets, and databases using user input for creating the dynamic web content. Examples of web applications are such as airline reservation system, message boards, shopping cart, net banking. Now, the client server computing, how it is possible, how it begins. The client, it is basically the requesting program in a client server relationship. Example, the user of a web browser is effectively making client requests for pages from server all over the web. Whereas server is a device or a computer program that accepts 
and responds to the request made by other program known as client. There are two types of servers, web server and application server. In client server computing, the client requests a resource and the server provides that resource. A server may serve multiple clients at the same time. Both the client and the server usually communicate via a computer network. But sometimes they may reside in the same system also. Now the illustration of the client server system. Here the client. There can be number of clients who are making a request to the server. The clients and the server, they are connected with a very big network that is internet. With the help of internet, the client making a request to the server and in return, the server is sending a response to all the clients again with the help of the internet. An example of client server computing system is a web server. It returns the web pages to the clients that request them. Web server versus application server. Now, what is doing? What is the work done by the web server? It accepts the request for data and sends the specified document. It is fitted for static content, utilizes rest, uh, less resources, HTML and H. TTP protocols are used. Examples of web servers are Apache Tomcat and Resin. So, browser on the user's computer. This is the web server. And with the help of this internet, the client and the server, they are making the request. And in return, the web server is providing the resource to the client machine. Application server. It is designed to install, operate, and host associated services and applications for the IT services and users and organizations. It is fitted for dynamic contents. Utilize more resources in comparison to the web server. GUI as well as HTTP and RPC and or RMI protocols are used. Example of application server are JBoss, Glassfish, WebLogic, WebSphere. So this is the working of the web server, application server, and the need of internet between them. Now the next topic is internet tools and services with which help it is possible to get all the relevant information across the worldwide. Internet supports communication and sharing of data and offers vast amount of information through a variety of services and tools. The major internet tools and services are electronic mail, which is known as email, news group, internet relay chat, IRC, telnet, and SSH, File Transfer Protocol, World Wide Web. So these are the major tools and services provided by the internet. That's all for today. Thank you.